Labs, labs, more labs. Hey, I did see you there. I was just on my way to the lab. Come on, let's go. There are a number of trending tools that we see in different types of labs. Here are some examples. MSDS, a binder that consists of proper disposal techniques for each substance in the lab. Beaker, a wide glass with a lip for pouring that is used especially in chemistry for holding and measuring liquids. Erlenmeyer flask, a flask with a wide base and narrow neck used in a laboratory for swirling liquids by hand. Volumetric flask, a volumetric flask is a piece of laboratory glassware calibrated to contain a precise volume at a particular temperature. Goggles. Goggles are for eye protection when handling hazardous chemicals. An emergency shower. They have these in labs because if you ever spill a chemical on yourself, you need to wash it off immediately. Eye wash station. An eye wash station is a unit that attaches to a water supply and provides a gentle stream of water. It is used for emergency irrigation to remove contaminants from the ocular area. Ethanol. Ethanol is used in a lab setting for cleaning and preserving DNA. Ethanol is a state-regulated chemical. Distilled water is purified water. Fume hood. A ventilated enclosure for storing and experimenting with chemicals with harmful vapors. Labs have sinks in them so that you can wash out your materials or wash off your hands. Gloves are used to protect your hands from coming in contact with hazardous materials. Now that we have learned about the different types of tools we often find in labs, let's see if you can identify some labs based on this information. We will show you a picture of a lab, then we will provide you with choices of what the lab may be. Feel free to pause the video to discuss with your peers. What lab do you think this is? A, B, C, D, or E? A, a research lab. A research lab is a facility with controlled conditions in which scientific analysis, experiments, and measurements are performed. What lab do you think this is? A, B, C, D, or E? C, specimen preparation lab. Specimen preparation labs are used to prepare specimens that usually go into collections or museums. What lab do you think this is? A, B, C, D, or E? B, genetics lab. A genetics lab provides technology that allows scientists to study subjects on a microscopic level. What lab do you think this is? A, B, C, D, or E? E, education lab. Education labs are used mainly to introduce students to lab settings. Simple experiments and labs are performed in this space. Now that we've looked at the trending tools in the lab and how to identify a lab upon these trends, we can understand what the real purpose of a lab is. A lab provides a structure in which scientists can explore certain topics and articulate their results to the community. Everybody loves labs! <laughs>